So Lucas, it's come to this. It has. Prototype. A game I honestly thought I'd never see again. (laughs) The thing is though, Prototype is so good. It is really good. It's so good. So the thing is, we played Spider-Man. Now let's play the real... Yeah, Radical! What a name for a studio. Uh, Rip in peace, Radical. I know. Uh, Activision shut them down because Prototype 2 only sold like 100 million copies of some stupid shit. <laughs> Proto... So Lucas, what do you know about some Prototype? Um, so I completed Prototype 1 and 2 on mm-hmm. release. Yes. And that's all, all... That's that's it. Okay, so I, I completed game. both games when they came out. Uh, I am so mad there's not a third one. I think it's one of the better, not best, better free roaming action games out there. Yeah. Uh, it, it, and if it got like next gen or I got some more love, I think this could have been like something special. But fuck it, let's get right into it. Normal difficulty. I'm not messing around. At hard difficulty, I will do on prototype two <laughs> if we ever do it. But on this game, for reasons I will explain to get into, create a new slot. There's like my one like two seconds in playthrough just to make sure the game works. Ah, fair enough, yeah. Let's do this shit. Oh. Yeah, I think one big mistake of like Prototype 2 was getting rid of Alex Mercer. Also as well, they fucked up the movement, which I will explain when I get right into the game. That was the biggest thing for me, yeah. Yeah, the movement's not as good. And I believe this is a remaster or a re-release. Because it was part it of like... like it, yeah. Like the Radek pack or something like that. There's like a specific name for it. And it's like Prototype 1 and 2 came as just a digital re-release for a tenner. And I went, I'll pay a tenner for Prototype 1 and 2. These <laughs> games are awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to say, though, these are some cool-ass-looking military dudes. Yeah, they're pretty cool-looking. They're some of the coolest-looking, just like, generic military designs. Mm-hmm. Ah, look at this edge lord. Look at him. So, how slowly did this design age? Or how poorly did it age, sorry? I don't know, because it it kind of really poorly aged, but at the same time, it is just a guy in a hoodie and a jacket. And it's kind of good. Like It's, it, it's kind super, of good and bad at the same time. Yeah, it's super cringe and edgelord, but I like it. Also, I love that you can literally do everything he's doing in this cutscene in-game. Mm-hmm, yeah. Everything you see Alex Mercer doing right here, you can do in game. Yeah, look at that all come up with the destruction <laughs> shit. It's so fucking good. Like, I like how he's like, I'm not a zombie, I'm a fucking mega zombie. It's so good. Well, this game is one of the most fun sandbox games I can tend. Like to run around having fun in. The locomotion of the game I remember being awesome. Yeah. Yeah! Resident Evil. Oh no, oh, sorry, yeah, the, zomb- like, the zombies are running. Generic zombie shit. It doesn't matter, Lucas. We're going to kill about 5,000 of them. We are. And I will say, this cutscene looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I know it's meant to be a remaster, but it looking pretty solid. So I'm playing this on the PS4 for people, because like, the low times is a lot better. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's there. The cringe master himself. Do you know what I love about it as well? The reason he wears... He has a hood, which obviously is for the edge lordness. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that move in game as well. You can, yeah. Do that one as well. All of these are things you can do in game. And I love it. I, because I hate when cutscenes show you stuff the character can do that you can't do in game. Mm-hmm. And it annoys the shit out of me. I hate well, it's it. like, um, for example, you mentioned Resident Evil. A lot of them, like four and five, when the Q, uh, the quick time events, the QTEs come up, mm-hmm. it's like this. You know, you see Leon doing backflips and shit, and you very rarely uh, have any of those abilities in the game. It's like when and Leon's yeah. doing backflips in com uh, in the cutscenes, but then you're in combat and he runs at like one mile an hour. <laughs> yeah, or he can't jump over like a waist high cover. And, uh, you know, that comes to mind because it's one of my favourite fucking games ever. I'm not Mm -hmm. really criticising it, but it is a little bit annoying. But, like, 
yeah, straight into the action. So I believe this is like halfway through the game. Ah, this so, is this where is... like the last gen starts to come into effect. Even still, though, Lucas, what an opening mission of just yeah, it's <laughs> Alex Mercer just being shot, just casually walk towards the enemy. So bam, and something you'll notice is every enemy dies in one hit. Do you know why? Because I'm fucking Alex Mercer. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> And what a strong opening mission. Yeah, that just throws just, you right into it. You are 100% bulletproof. It doesn't fucking matter. Because you're Alex Mercer and you're a badass. Yeah. Let's find these soldiers. Bam. So, one thing as well I remember about this game is that for some reason they were like, oh no, it's competing with um, Infamous. Infamous, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this right here is why Infamous does not beat Prototype in my opinion. Because you can do this. Like, any game <laughs> that says you can run around a city gives you superpowers and doesn't let you do that can fuck off. Mm -hmm. Like, do you remember, like, the old Spider-Man 2 games where you had to try to get to the top of, like, the Empire State Building? You'd have to, like, the web swinging round in a circle. Yeah, Around yeah. the building, and it took ages. Because um, that was uh, the best one you played as Venom. When you could just go... Ugh! And just go like this. It's yeah. so fucking cool. And I'll show off, like, all the movement stuff when I get the options to do it, but... Oh, God, I love this game so much. I just remember the first time I got hands on Infamous. <laughs> and I wanted to climb up a building, and I've got to go like this. Uh, uh, uh. Or like when you play Crackdown, and you've got... To, this is how you climb buildings. Oh, and is it? it takes like... Yeah, because remember, you can only grab onto the little ledges. Like, every building has a ledge on it, but you've got to, like, oh, okay, climb, yeah. climb, climb. And then you go into prototype, and it's just... No. And then if you want... Oh! And then if you get to the time you jump to get, to get to the top, you leap over the top. Obviously as well, no fall damage, because fuck it. And Basket. obviously we're doing this like after playing Spider-Man. And that looked quite a bit like the the running up the walls in Spider-Man. Yeah, do you know what? That don't look great though. No. Like it's visually the game does not look good. But the fact that already everything you saw in that cutscene, I am able to do. Mm -hmm. Like, I can do backflips, I can, like, run over buildings, I can grab people. Oh, I'll take a rocket launcher. And here's where the game sucks. It's the one problem with it. Rocket launcher enemies. Ah, fair. You yeah. have no ability to avoid the rocket launcher. Set with this cool little dodge here. Ooh. Combat roll out. But like already the game looks just snappy and fun to play. It's so fun. Oh, yeah, Luke, you ready? Oh, oh, look at that oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. So good. The fact that's a starting power... Oh, yeah, it's one of the first powers you get. Yeah. Th this is like a slightly leveled up Alex Merce. Oh, Luke's I've got a car. <laughs> what? Oh. What? Well, fuck you. Of course I do it. Who's the guy from Infamous? Oh. Oh. Can he do that? Can he just go like this with the car? <laughs> no, I think fucking not. Where is he? I see him. Oh, the kick. No, you're mine. So they're the two oh. moves from the cutscene, if you remember. Yeah. Where he slashes the guy in half and then crushes his skull. Oh, let's get in there. Continue through Times Square. Oh, and you get, like, double air dash. Of course you do. That's why I, I was saying, like, in the Miles Morales playthrough, it's getting close to prototype. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ah, the big dumb Hulk destruction fists. <laughs> and you can tell these guys make Hulk. Oh, Lucas, elbow drop a tank. Why? Why do oh I have it? Why does every game that has bullshit like this not let you elbow drop tanks? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Fuck you, tank. Ah! That this should be so a standard fun. in every game. Just being every able to elbow drop tanks. Any game that gives you superpowers that doesn't give you this level of just fuck you, I win. Yeah. Is not worth playing, in my opinion. That's why I don't like the arguments of is prototype or infamous better is completely thrown out the window when my, the opening mission of this game is elbow drop tanks in <laughs> Times Square. <laughs> yeah, the Edge Lord. Lucas, are you ready for the Edge? Oh, God. So these are the worst enemy in the entire game. Because I'll show them off right now um, when they attack me. So can they attack me, please? It's no, they're, they're not, really not asked about you, Carl. Okay, they're attacking the tank, so fair enough. And they just have this annoying attack where they will just hit you and uh, stun lot you. And it's just not uh, fun okay. to deal with. Oh, look at that, though. And they kind of fixed the combat problems in Prototype 2 where they gave you, like, uh, parries and blocks and the abilities to like control those things 
But the movement in this game is just so much more satisfying and fun. Yeah, I remember just... Prototype 2 having better combat and that being about it. Yeah, Everything where? else felt worse. Uh, yeah! Why would Lucas, why would I not? Oh, do you know what as well? Oh. Inbuilt in slow mo. <laughs> in -built, in -built slow -mo. Uh. So that's something that I wanted to. Uh, that's why I've got a playthrough on this game already. Where I was just like, okay, I'm going to see if I remember that. Because I remember that if you lock onto an enemy, you get a brief second of slow mo. But if you keep locking on, you get constant slow mo. <laughs> which means that we can do cinematic shit like this, Lucas. Uh, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's happening. Objective complete. So expect to see that a lot, folks at home. Oh, that's what you need, Lucas. More tanks. That that's gonna fix this problem, Martin. I, they had what four, five tanks on Alex Mercer. Watching him just elbow drop every single one without a problem. And then it's like, you know what? Let's send in more tanks. It might work. It to might. Be fair, like, what else? Op like, what other op opportunity do they have? Or option do they have? Sorry. I don't know. Send in a fucking jet. Just nuke New York City. Fuck well, it. that's what they do, I think. That's what the plan <laughs> is. Also, as well, like, it's quite um, thematically appropriate that we're playing this game on the same day that the UK is going to lock down again. <laughs> oh, God. This is currently what's happening in London right now. Oh! Oh, God. The anime. And I think the one problem with that move is that it's supposed to be you're sending out tentacles to absorb biomasks. Mm. People aren't familiar with this game at all. They're just like, you are kind of thrown into the deep end. Um, uh, Alex Mercer's power is he absorbs the biomass of other people. Mm -hmm. So he adds like their body mass to his own, which is why he can jump and hit with so much force. Because he weighs like four tons. Dies tonight. And that attack there is supposed to be sending out tentacles that draws in every bit of organic matter in him. But they don't show the tentacles grabbing the matter and dragging it into his body. But it just blows everything up. Yeah. And I think in the second one they do give you a power that lets you do that, where you just send out a wave of tentacles that drag everyone towards you. Oh, okay. And it is kind of neat. But god damn do I fucking love this game. What an opening mission. That is a hell of an opening mission, I'll give you that. 18 days earlier. That's how much stronger we got in 18 days. <laughs> Eat shit, Saitama. Do they really need to have him in his hood on the autopsy yeah. table? <laughs> like, don't they normally do that with naked people? Rather than just... Ah, keep him in his hoodie. We don't want to make well, a separate model for it. Well, that's the thing. He does have hair, and there's a picture of him in the game somewhere with hair. And I talked about how the hood is there because the character has long hair... But they didn't want to model long hair on a character. They didn't want to animate it. Flips. Yeah. So he just wears his hood constantly. <laughs> and it has the side effect of just looking edge as fuck. It does. But it is a good way to get around the um, the pain in the arse of animating hair. Also, I like the idea of he woke up on the autopsy table. <laughs> it's a really strong opening mission. Yeah. Like opening cut scene. It was like you woke up on an autopsy table. And I will say that Prototype 2 does this, because you have the same thing, you're a different character in that. Mm -hmm. Where you're playing as a soldier who was infected with a strain of the Mercer virus, as they call it later. Yeah. Because, like, you know, spoilers, Alex Mercer started this shit, he dropped the <laughs> virus. And <laughs> you wake up on the autopsy table, and your mission is escape from a military testing facility. And that's the tutorial of your powers. Oh, okay, yeah. This is kind of cool too. Oh god, that's so brutal. Yeah. I'm authorised to shoot you. Oh, I did as well. Fucking hell. Lucas, like, this virus, man, is fucking some brutal ass shit. Well, it is really, isn't it? Yeah. Do you see the shit that Alex Mercer can do? Oh god. That's a rough way to discover you've got powers, though, isn't it? Mm hmm. Just 30 bullets to the chest. Whoa. I love how lazy that jump was. <laughs> that was so flat. 
possibly as well the greatest mission ever, jump over a fence. He seems pretty chill with it, though. We've got no idea. Like, he woke up I, and he He's feels just good. woken up on an autopsy table, got shot 30 times, and just went, yeah. you know what, I'm going to leap over this fence. But Lucas, I wasn't kidding. My mission is jump over this <laughs> fence. Ugh. Nailed it. Oh, God, checkpoint reached. Fuck, 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 fuck. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And this is like the, the one of the things that the game was sold on, the adaptive parkour trademark, which yeah. is any as long as you hold right trigger and run in a given direction, you will mantle and parkour over anything in your path. Literally uh, the thing they put in Spider-Man PS4. Yeah, the exact same thing. And it's something as well they ruined in the second one, mm -hmm. because even though they have this very same system in it, the guy just doesn't do as much cool stuff. Well, if I like, remember rightly... You can, in this game, keep all your momentum from, like, gliding down. Yes, you can. Whereas in number two, it was a case of, like, your momentum stops and he just hits the ground. Which I'll show off when I get that ability. Because mm -hmm. it's one of the things that makes running around this game so much fun. Because you can essentially combo your running. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I find it weird, though, that they're giving you a tutorial after you've just had a mission where... You do all this shit anyway? The game doesn't tell you to throw stuff in that. Oh, okay. I just know that you can do that. So the, I, I, I'm pretty sure all that was the demo for the game. Oh, cool. It was, it was fucking incredible. Clear. Target is so you'll see that he does like cool little backflips at the top of the wall. So it's super mm. neat. And when you get to the top of shit, it just looks awesome. Just It uh, does. And it looks real uh. slick. Like sometimes it's, it's not perfect, but it does look kind of slick when it gets to the top and there's a perfect backflip every time. Yeah. <laughs> also, you can, if you want, like do this shit. I'm not sure why you ever would. No. But it's nice to have that option. And then one of the things I love doing is this. <laughs> Just <laughs> mash X as hard as you can. Woohoo! Ugh. He's really on board with this immediately, isn't he? Of course he is, yeah. And like, I, people don't really care about the story of this. Like, the, we are not playing as Alex Mercer. We are playing as the virus. Like, Alex Mercer is not a person who already died. The virus just assumes his form. So we are playing as now <laughs> a living virus. Which is why I think they need to rip off everything in this game to make a Venom game. So oh imagine yeah, yeah. A Venom, an officially licensed Venom game where you're allowed to like kill people. Mm -hmm. And you have like cool shit in it like this. Because that's the issue with them being in Spider-Man games, is it's never, like, mature. It's always got to be, um, like, PG. Whereas they don't give a fuck in this game. No, they don't. That's the end of the, the game. The opening cut scene is just him ripping people in half. Did you not get the memo about what I'm able to do? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It's great. And there's one of the primary gameplay mechanics. I think it's super fucking cool. It's a really neat idea. What, just eat people? Uh, gain their memories. Oh, I you... get what you mean, yeah. Like, uh, there is a main storyline, but you can find out a bunch of extra stuff by just absorbing people of interest who know things about what's going on. I remember now, yeah. But it's weird that any only certain people give him memories. But they're the people who have, like, no direct knowledge of what he wants to learn. Mm-hmm. So find out who I am. And I love as well. I'm going to let this guy just like, you know, read me out. <laughs> just let my commanding <laughs> officer just give you some shit for a bit. This is great, like the amount yeah, of lines like, they put in there. And then I think they just go out, he just yeah. keeps saying report. Now ah, there we go, yeah. I think it's just, just looping going... back now. Okay, yeah, so now I'm going to do what I think everyone has thought about doing at least once in their life, and it is grabbing their boss and punching his face. <laughs> ah! no! The web of intrigue. And I really, really like this storytelling mechanic. 
It's, yeah, it's a bit overproduced. It's a bit dated. But I adore this as a way of telling the story. Because that was probably a little bit overwhelming and a little bit nonsensical to people. But that's how someone who doesn't have their memories mm -hmm. would experience it. It's like, well, wait, what, what do you mean by any of that? It makes no sense. It and honestly reminds game, me a lot of the first Mass Effect. You know when he gets like the uh, the visions from the uh, the whatever you call it, the uh, monument. Reapers. Oh, sorry, yeah. Do you, do you mean Dead Space? No, no, no. Um, well, Dead Space as well, I guess. But Mass Effect when he starts getting visions, and he has to like mind meld with Liara, and she's oh, okay, trying to yeah. make sense of it and stuff. But you just constantly, throughout the entire game, see the visions a little bit more clear and clearer. And I just like the idea of just you piece together the thing at the same time that the main character does. Because mm. we, we don't have all the information either. No, we don't. This is really, like, throwing you in at the deep end story-wise. It's great. I love it. I just love that. And as well, those cutscenes are... I want to say they're, like, really well done, but uh, I just think the voice acting in them is fantastic. Well, and one the, the cutscenes look out, pretty well produced for a game that's old. Well, they're all live action if you look. It's just, it's just photos with effects put over the top. Yeah, yeah. That's it. But, but uh, even the like, CG cutscene at the start looked pretty decent. That's the only one in the game. Oh, is it? Yeah, everyone else I think they've done like, in engine and they're not great. And they spent, they blew their load on that first one. <laughs> if they know I mean, to be fair, if you're going to blow your load on a cutscene, at least put it at the start of the game so everyone sees it. Yeah, and then uh, as well, put all the shit in that uh, part of the game where you can do it all in game. Yeah, like it essentially sells you on the game. Of course it does. And that opening mission is fucking sick, <coughs> a little bit. But yes, um, uh, the, something I want to highlight when we get to the point where the military invades New York is just how good the voice acting is. Oh, okay. And like just like the um, environmental storytelling you get, or just like mm. background noise when you hear soldiers calling in um, uh, airstrikes and stuff. It's like some of the best military chatter. It makes the military of fighting feel like an actual opposing enemy force as opposed to they just spawn in and yeah. it's there. Yeah. Because you feel like they are hunting you, but then how the fuck are they going to find you in the entire city when you can run up walls? So well, and you can turn into other people. Yes. This is what we're being explained to now. So, essentially it is you can just, once you've consumed somebody, um, you, the last person you consume is a disguise that you can mm -hmm. um, take. Including just random pedestrians, right? Random pedestrians, yes. But I'll endeavour not to kill pedestrians. I think you get an achievement or a trophy for it. Oh, okay. And then if you act suspicious, opposing soldiers um, uh, will find your ass. If I punch someone to death now, they'd know I was an opposing soldier. Yeah. Oh, they'd know I'm Alex Mercer. And the system isn't great because I can just, like, you know, run up the walls and shit. And they don't find that suspicious. <laughs> and I can do, like, combat rolls and all that bollocks. But well, you can't go and eat somebody. Yeah. Like... <clears throat> But this, is, I think, is the best kind of stealth where it's completely optional. Except for, like, a very few select missions which are really easy. Because if I wanted to, I could just kill all those enemy soldiers. Yeah, yeah. And walk through the front door. And then compared to, like, Spider-Man stealth, where it is completely... Like, those, like, Mary Jane missions. And it just ruins the flow of the game. Whereas in this one, stealth is an inbuilt mechanic that you have that you can use mm -hmm. anytime you want. But you don't have to. If you really want, you can just go in there and punch everyone. And it's well, nice to have that option. We've just finished playing Miles Morales on my channel, and I um, did say, like, yeah, you know, it's not quite as good as Spider-Man PS4. Forget, fail to mention, thank fuck they didn't put any stealth missions in there. And the only stealth you have is, like, integrated as part of, like, Miles' core moveset. Yeah. Oh, man. Speaking of Edge, look at his <laughs> hacker sister. Is that the most hacker design you've ever seen on a woman? I mean... She's got the hoodie, she's got the haircut, she's got the eyeliner. It defo is until you just play Watch Dogs 2. <laughs> Everyone in that game is just hack. Everyone hack in that sister. game is like, oh my god, I'm a mega hacker. The thing is, well, she's supposed to be poor, but she can afford a second apartment in New York. <laughs> a lot of people that's can't the, afford one. Yeah, that's the most unbelievable part of this game, that this, like... Um, hacker can afford two properties. No. They were waiting for me at my place, so most definitely yours. Oh, yeah. There. 
Does she different. really need to say Alex's apartment? <laughs> Does she not remember where her brother lives? Stay inside, it's locked down. You're not allowed to leave. He's just Listen. wandering about wherever he wants. Well, Alex can, she can't. <coughs> Alex is immune to the virus, he's fucking sick. Well, I mean, he is the virus. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, mission cut that, and you get the slow-mo at the end, look for the swag. And this is something I fucking adore. That they tell you how much the military spent on every mission. Well, that's good, yeah. It's just, it's a dumb detail, but I... Ad- really like when you have like a random combat encounter Mm -hmm. with the military destroy like 15 helicopters and then just run away (laughs) Uh, it comes up they spent 300 million dollars trying to catch you and got nothing (laughs) and like it's such a stupid additional detail but I really like every now and again it's like oh the military spent 100 million trying to catch me I still think the best version of that is um, Yakuza like when we're playing Yakuza 0 and it's like you earned this much money this chapter, but then it gives you a conversion of a random object and how many of them it is. Yeah, like you earned the equivalent of 15 times the um, Japanese president's salary that year. Yeah, like, or too you right, earned 300 grand pianos worth of money, and it's like, okay. Fuck you, New York. So I'm going to go like um, run around the city for a bit because it's so much fun, and this is one of the few times in the game before like, the virus takes over, where you can run around the city without being attacked. Oh, okay. Cool. So I think everything after this mission is when the military is here. So it's the one time you can run around the city and just, there's nothing else here. Yeah. So it's your one time to just dick around in New York. And it's a pretty good version of New York. I feel. I mean... We're in Times Square. I can tell that it's New York. Because you play Spider. Yeah. yeah. And this is as high <laughs> as I can jump so far. Ugh. Oh, God. Not exactly very impressive, is it? It's not. But I can if I want. Still turn into a military man. Yeah! Look at this shit. Fuck you! <laughs> I love it. Military man! Woohoo! Right, let's go. Just look how much fun this is. So I'm just going to go straight to the top of the tallest building here. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do they do? What, Lucas, what do they do? That jump looks I'm amazing. I'm wondering, can I get upgrades yet? I don't think I can. Oh no. Here we go. No, I cannot upgrade. So I'm going to just like... Uh, I guess head to the next mission because I want to get upgraded as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, upgrade. like running around's cool and that, but when you can't upgrade and get any glides or anything like that. But I can do this. What's up? A fucking swagger. How are these NPCs well reacting to that better than the NPCs in Cyberpunk? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love as well that like, you can charge up your jump as you're running. Oh, yeah. This is what... Oh, it's so good. Uh, uh, The last thing is, I'm making a lot of comparisons to Spider-Man games. But think, what, this was at least ten years before them? Uh, Yeah. Uh, There's not really much it was competing with, except for, of course, Infamous. And, yeah, Infamous, I I, I like those games, but running around the city does not feel very good compared to this. It doesn't, no. Because you can just do this shit like this. Oh, Ah, oh, I can't pick up cars yet. I was thinking I was trying to run over a car and pick it up. <laughs> Alex Mercer is not yet strong enough to pick up a car, unless he's been destroyed. So, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Whoop. Just, it feels just so fun. Mm. Just to run everywhere, because nothing gets in your way. It's like showing the moment you get, like, hands on in Spider-Man. Yeah. And you just swing and go, this feels great. Yeah. Like, moment one. All right, let's go. Enter. My home. So you know he was a rich dickhead when he lives in a house like this. This is a fucking swag pad. And you need to keep an eye out because it's the only time you'll ever see a picture of Alex without hair. Like the picture of him that's on those walls there. Alex without hair. Yeah, look at him! Oh, wow. 